now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the smart fasteners here. I'm going to click on smart fasteners, and it tells me that it might take a lot of time. I say okay. And so I can pick either just one hole, or if I pick that face, I can pick all the holes on that face. And this is why you want to use the hole command, not extrude a circle. So if you extrude a circle, well, it doesn't find it when you're trying to do this. But hole command, it knows, oh, that's a hole, it's going to put it in. And because I told it the clearance size, it knows what size screw you want. So I'm going to say add. I'm just going to go through and figure it out and put them in backwards. <laughs> So what I want to do now is I want to hit edit grouping, come a plus sign, click here, right click on that one and hit flip. It took me like 10 minutes to find that. You saw me up here like, that's what I was doing, trying to find that flip button. So now it flips it around and I got it out of it. So I'm going to just go in and edit it again. Come on. All right, so right now I just, it did socket head cap screw. If I want to change that, I just need to right click here, change fastener type, on machine screw, kind of head cross. And then, what happened? I don't know why it doesn't do that. I'm just going to erase this one and put it back in again. See if that up oh, there it go. There it, is. It, it was just a display. So it's changed the screw, but now up here, the top of the stack and bottom of the stack. The top is this side, the bottom is the other side. So I can go out after the pull down list and tell it what I want. So let's say on the top, I want a regular spring washer. And then I want a plain washer. You can flip the order. That's what it's like. Maybe I'll put the lock washer now. So I guess you want to put it in from the part hitting out. I thought it was going the other way, but. It's from the part going out. So now go to the other side, tell it I want a plain washer. And I want a hex nut. And you can see as I'm doing it, it's extending the screw out for me. So if I didn't want that to be out as far, I could go in um, and turn on auto length. That way I could adjust them myself maybe. Right now I can pick on it and adjust that length. I don't, I don't want as much reveal. So now I've got a whole stack of of screws and washers put in there, all in one go. Does it auto define everything? Yep. So it put in all those parts here. I save it. It should all show up in my assembly folder now. That's where I pull it to save everything. Right. So now they're all in here. <clears throat> um, just the right size, everything. And then it'll put it in the 
materials directly to um, the open material. Okay. You can see it's kind of put them in. The part numbers and descriptions are kind of off, so maybe I'll want to go into those parts, open them, and edit the descriptions and things um, to make it more like what I want. But at least it's got general stuff there. I always like to go in and edit things anyways. Because how its standard is might not be your standard or might not be real clear. So usually isn't. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put in that walk piece. I'm just going to put that in. I'm going to put it right into this corner. I just kind of put it there. But I want to hold it there with a screw. But I didn't think about putting the screw in before because I want to do it here. So now if I go into assembly features, I can do a whole series. So I can do a, just a hole. And that'll put a hole through both of them. Or I can do a whole series where I can do different holes in each part. So I'll go to whole series. Uh, create a new hole, and I want it right there. So it's kind of like the hole command now. This is the start hole, so the hole on top, what do I want it to be? I want it to be a quarter inch. size it because tops of the three eighths this might as well be a three eighths in hole I'm just gonna have it auto size because I could have have multiple pieces so I really don't have a middle here I have an end so I can tell it auto size or I can tell it I want that to be tapped and then the end component is gonna be that one it's my trap drill Tells me that it's that 3816 cap hole. So, if you have things that you, you want to line up with the numbers, might not be good numbers on both parts. And you want to make sure that they're exact. And you have other ways you can line them up. You can do that, and then put in your hole once you're in the assembly, and take care of it. And I'll kind of lead into what we're going to do tomorrow with the top down assemblies, where you do all your modeling in the assembly. So go ahead and try that. Uh, try